pondering on a few things here. Um, I don't know how many of you are uh, reflecting upon the current energy crisis that we exist in at current in this world. The biggest thing is that we've been using fossil fuels as a primary means whereby to output and supply our society with the necessary means of energy that is needed for our daily life. Coal is still used in third world countries as a means whereby to supply energy to power turbines to generate electricity. This type of use of natural resources has to stop. There is a great need for the development of new energy or technologies to produce new energy. There are a few things which I've come across and it would seem to me that there are numerous which I have not that have been developed or have been being researched or developed in the past that we are not utilizing because of the fact that investors desire a, a return on their investment. Come on in! Hold on just a moment. Knobs in the knobs in the box. What? Oh, you locked the main. I'm, I must have did it when I went out. I always lock the door. I, I thought it was locked on the way out. But here is here is where we stand right now in the crisis of the need for energy. We use fuels which produce a great amount of waste. We think about ourselves here and now. We think about instant gratification and so are the investors thinking about instant gratification. But the point is this, we can no longer continue to, to rely upon the same means by which we have continued to think. It does not work. It is not beneficial to us. If we would think about our populace, if we would think about us as a people, the current means by which we live our lives and we use the energy resources that are available to us, it is not sustainable. We bring ourselves to the brink of destruction. The current use of petroleum is like fast food in the world of food, mm -hmm. but in energy. Fast food yes. in the world of economics. Yes, it it provides us with a quick means of energy and resources which will supply us with the things that we desire. But how long can our bodies live on fast foods before they become polluted? Fossil fuels are destroying our world because they are the fast food energy of our world and they are not sustainable. 
That does not mean that they are not usable. But the means by which we use them is not sustainable. Mm -hmm. We need to rethink the way we use these resources. Why are we continuing to dig into the earth to gain these materials which are easily and readily available on the surface? For we have been dumping waste after waste, after waste, after waste, after waste. And how much of that waste is carbon-based? There is technologies available to take the carbon that we dump into our landfills to turn these into viable carbon-based fossil fuels. If that is the problem, let us stop thinking about wasting our money in digging in the earth and turn these resources which we have dumped into our own lands which are polluting our lands into viable resources. But no, that is not where we stand. We misuse the resources which are available to us. We need to rethink our strategies. We need to stop thinking about instant gratification and we need to start thinking about the future because instant gratification is no longer sustainable. A freaking man. It will not bring us to a point where we need to be. If we want to change this world, if we want to rectify the problems which we are currently facing, we must change our thinking. We must think for the future, even though our instant gratification may not be supplied. Where will our children stand if we continue to think about ourselves in a selfish way? Selfishness always begets destruction. Yeah. If there are any of you who understand these things that I'm speaking about, if there are any of you that are connected to resources that can bring about a change in our world, we need to start bringing those things forward in a way that will change our world. Not for profit. For money is a powerful way of destroying our world. And so many people seek after money as a means of bringing about change. But money is a destroyer. How many billions of dollars do the fossil fuel companies and the energy companies in this world bring in every year as a revenue? If there is anybody that has the power to invest and to change this world... It is those who bring in such profits. But they will not. For their love is of money. Of quick return. Not of long term investment. And not of change. And that is why those who hold the key to changing this society must release the information to allow this world to change because one person can make a difference. If that one person is a person of adequate knowledge to bring forth a resource that can be easily reproduced to produce an abundant energy supply that far exceeds that which we are currently relying upon, it needs to come forth it cannot be something that we think about what shall I gain. It is about what can I contribute. I hope these words will make a difference because one person can make a difference. So make a difference and make a change and bring this world 
to the place where it needs to be because there is so much knowledge right now that is suppressed. It cannot remain this way. It must change or we perish. That is how it stands.